guys, but then next year, I feel like you guys had a more talented team. You know what I mean? And, but you, it came to an end with, and here's the thing, you, your career, your senior year, and my senior year run very parallel because mm-hmm. we were dominant in our conference. You know, for, we were leading our, our teams, but at the end of the year, it, the scandal, I don't say scandal, but the, the issues broke yeah. out and it put a dark cloud over your performance. So instead of you focusing on who we play next and what we got to do in the Big Ten tournament, you talk about Coach Sampson being replaced and all this right. other stuff that really, and then you got to get a, you know, Dan Dockage comes in, all right, you got to play for this guy. And, you know, you don't know if you can, like you said, it takes a while to adjust to a coach, let alone in the next three days. It's either going to be like Steve Fisher <laughs> in 89 when he coached Michigan and they go all the way to the Final Four, or you're going to be done yeah. really quick. And I had the same situation because uh, a tape came out from four years ago and it just blew up everything we was trying to do. And we were overachieving as, as a team. Right. And it destroyed. So what when thinking about thinking back to that time, what what were you going through your mind as uh, that that dark cloud began to come over the team and, and kind of just wrecked your season? Man, I was pissed off to be honest. Yeah. Right, <laughs> I was really pissed off because I think at that time we might I know we were top ten, might have been top five mm-hmm. at the For time sure. that he got fired. We were playing mm-hmm. great. Um, it was a lot oh. of some controversy around the team, you yeah. know, some guys getting in trouble for certain things, but mm-hmm. I feel like coach was getting a handle on that. Mm-hmm. And then boom, that came out. Yeah. Um, you know, we was, we were so mad. We was, you know, we were contemplating about not going to practice and Absolutely. all these different things. I remember we meeting in my apartment, like what are we going to do? Are we going to play? And it just, it just killed the spirit. I mean, yeah. we, started losing games we shouldn't have lost. Yep. We ended up, you know how they had the projections. We were supposed to be two, three seed. We ended up, what did we get? A seven, 10, 10 seed that yep, year maybe? Like that, yep. So man, it, 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 it's up, man. I still, eight seed. Um, mm-hmm. So, I mean, I still, it still kind of bothers me today. I, sure. I still feel it, like it's still at the end of the me. season. I've been all yeah. over to you, and I still get mad when I think about it. <laughs> yeah, my feelings today is still let, do it at the end of the season. Let us rock. Let us finish. Yeah, exactly. You know? um, like I said, we had Eric Gordon, top seven yeah. pick. Jordan Crawford, he transferred later, but he ended up a first round pick. Yeah. We were a very talented team. Mm-hmm. Rolling, felt good, and boom, that happens. You know? Um, yeah. Yeah, man, I just, I wish it could have ended differently. Absolutely, I know you feel the same. That's same like way. Like you, you, man, you well, know, you know how it feels. Yeah, but when you start talking about how you guys start meeting at your house, like that's not normal. Not for that. Right. But it just right, takes right, you. Right. And people, what well, people, especially when you're in our situation, where you know you have a future in it, you stop thinking about what can we do here. You say, okay, what what what, what can I do to fix myself up for the future? In it? Cause this ain't working. Like your right. mind just, even though you're trying to play hard and you want to do the right things, like stuff like that just destroys the the spirit of the team, man. And and, and you just start thinking about the future, inevitably. Right. Like so, That's cool. go ahead. No, I was just saying. I I was thinking back on that time. Everywhere we went, we got cameras in our face. Yeah. We all on ESPN. <laughs> They they're meeting the players are meeting right now. Like how y'all know this stuff? You know right, what I mean? Yeah. It was just yeah. certain guys are not at practice. Certain guys at practice. It was just it was just a crazy time. Man. And they but, expected y'all to go out there and win with all that. It's like right. man, well, we ain't thinking about <laughs> basketball, man. We're doing yeah. press conferences. We yeah. defending ourselves. We like we, like we kids. We were kids. Yeah, young men at the time. You know, maybe yeah. maybe now I look at it. I will. As a as a man, I, as a grown growner man, you know I'll mm-hmm. maybe do some things differently. Absolutely. But I, I mean, I, at the time, I was just I was mad, you know, because yeah, yeah, because you know sometimes you know how the, some of that stuff, how your team plays, how you play, is tied to your future. Right. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, you know how to wake up like that? So I got all this running through my head. Yeah. You know, this is my time to. You know, Eric is Eric is a you know want to be a top pick. You know, we want to get to this tournament, be a top seed, make some noise. We got all yeah. this going on, yeah, and through this time. So man, it was just yeah. a troubling time. 
It tr- and trust me, man, I, I know. And, and looking at, like you said, looking back as adults, man, you just wish you, you had better, I don't say leadership in, in helping somebody to help you get through that. Because mm-hmm. you, you really, nobody, it was something new. So nobody knew, really knew how to help. You. Like, man, what you was going through from that, that standpoint, thinking about your pro career, you know, it just, it just wasn't yeah. a good mix, man. So, but I, I do want to, well, if you talk about it now, it's your legacy that that that's at stake. You know what I mean? So you go mm-hmm. from all this high and all of a sudden, boom, it's like, man, boom, drop. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's that quick and people forget about you and it's over. Right. Like, hey, man, what about the other through 120 games I was getting it? And I don't care about that. It's how it ended. It's like, nah, that's, that's cold-blooded. Right. But 